This video is about apical dominance. I'm also going to go over apical control, which is not a term in the study guide, but you'll see pretty soon that it's relevant. To review, auxin is one of the plant growth regulators or hormones. It's typically produced in the tip of a shoot and it's moved downwards on the stem. So there's a gradient of highest concentration here and lower as you go down. So auxin does suppress the growth of the lateral buds here, but at some point along this gradient, you have less and less auxin and the lateral buds are able to grow out. In a situation where you have very strong apical dominance, you don't have any lateral buds breaking for the season, but where you have less dominance, then the lower branches will start growing out. With apical dominance, we're only talking about the growth in one particular season. We're not talking about the entire tree. That's where the other term apical control comes in. Apical control refers to the relationship of the central trunk to its lateral branches over multiple years or seasons. A tree that has strong apical control has a single trunk or a central leader that sticks with it its whole life. This is called an X-current form. A tree with weak apical control has a more round-headed form where you no longer see the central leader. This is called the D-current form. And if you have difficulty distinguishing between those two types, you can just think of the round-headed form as being a sideways capital D. How much apical control a tree has can also depend on age. A tree might start out with a strong central leader, and at some point when growth slows, you'll start seeing the lateral branches compete with or even take over the central leader position. Then you end up with a round-headed form. There isn't a direct correlation between apical control and apical dominance, but it's basically set by genetics. You can try to prune and subdue a tree from one form to another, but the genetics will usually win out. As an example, you have these two trees in the background, which started out with really strong central leaders, but they were topped. You can see, however, on the regrowth from the topping points, well, you can't really see, I guess, um, but each one of them is still very strongly dominant over their lateral branches. So if you look at each in, each new stem as its own tree, you'll see that they still very much show that apical control.